Hello, welcome to Something More. Have you ever wondered if, if God's glory is something that we can experience in our everyday lives? And, and if it is, is it something that we would recognize? Well, today we are talking about the different ways that God's glory can be manifested so that maybe if it happens in your life, you will recognize it as, wow, this is the presence of God. This is the glory of God. And none other that would be better to talk about the glory with than Diane Nutt. Hi, Thank Diane. you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Thank Such you a for blessing. being with us. You know, Thank I know you. you are known as a woman that that walks and moves and operates in God's glory. So many things, but you know, as I, as I read your material and I listen to you teach and I hear you preach, there's so many different kinds of manifestations of God's glory. Yes. And I thought it would be so, so nice to share that with people. And mm -hmm. there's something that, that people may not even look at as, mm -hmm. as, as God's glory or a presence or a manifestation right. of His glory. I want to talk about salvation glory. So okay. uh, first, let, let's start here. Tell me a little bit about your background and then we're going to talk about this. Okay. Well, I grew up in a denominational home, but, um, you know, things happened and my father ended up leaving when I was three years old. Mm -hmm. uh, he sexually abused me and uh, never, you know, called, never gave birthday cards, uh, no support at all. So not just abuse, but abandonment Abandonment as well. As mm -hmm. well. He moved to another mm -hmm. state. And so, you know, he just wasn't around at all. And so just kind of like he didn't have, you know, a daughter. Mm -hmm. And so, but of course I had a stepdad and I didn't learn about my father till mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. you know, in life. But, um, you know, when the glory of God shows up, and when you choose to walk in that glory and you forgive, then the glory of God will work miracles that you and I could never, mm, you know, yes, even yes, talk to someone yes. to bring them into the kingdom because God releases the power and starts drawing that person because of the glory of God. Oh, you know, I, I don't so, want yeah. I don't want people to miss that. Uh, Diane is talking about. Um, a life of uh, abuse, abandonment, mm -hmm. rejection for many, many years. It was many years, wasn't it, Diana? But yet she discovered a key that was so powerful in, in being able to still move in the glory and that was forgiveness. Yes. How, how did you reach out to your father and forgive your father after all those years? Well, he had contacted me, you know, much later on uh, in my thirties. And, um, you know, for a while it wasn't good because I could feel things whenever I spoke of with course, him. Of course, of course. You know, until God mm -hmm. brought healing into my heart. And was the forgiveness, is, is that what started the healing? I mean, how, mm -hmm. did the somebody tell you you did. needed to forgive or is that something God showed you or? Is, I guess I'm trying to say, is that a choice that we make? It is. It is a choice. It's, it's not a feeling mm. because a lot of times we don't feel like forgiving people. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you think about a father that left you, yeah. that never supported you, uh, I mean, nothing, not even any phone calls, mm -hmm. but because I had grown up in church, I knew that I needed to forgive. Yeah. And so God gave me that grace to forgive him and to keep on forgiving him every time I thought about, you know, what mm -hmm. he didn't do. Mm -hmm. And people don't understand it's, you know, it's a hard thing, of course. but it's, of it's course. a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, our life is dependent upon the choices that we make, mm. because if we make the wrong choices, then we're not going to see what we want to see in our life. And so I chose to forgive. I know you're glad you made that choice because it resulted in your father responding to that forgiveness, to that mm -hmm. love. I mean, it just impacted him so much that he became a Christian. Yes. Uh, he started serving the Lord later in life. He couldn't believe that he'd gone all this time, but then he got very sick and mm -hmm. you spent the last week of his life in his hospital room yes. and you saw glory manifested in a way that you never had before. Yes. You call it salvation glory. Salvation what happened? glory. It was amazing. Just the presence of God mm -hmm. and His glory was so thick. The nurses knew when they walked in that the atmosphere was different. And so um, this is what happened. I was able to lead two of his nurses and his 85-year-old roommate to the Lord. 
And it was just a glorious thing that happened. I would have never thought that that would have happened, mm -hmm. but God opened that door because I chose to forgive. Right. And so forgiveness is so key in us, you know, releasing the power right. of right. God mm -hmm. so that the glory of God, it, you know, forgiveness, it invites the glory of God to come yeah. in. Yeah in any possible, yes. impossible yes. situation. And it's and it's transferable because you, you said that that first nurse, when she kept coming in, she yes. kept coming in and she just noticed this something different in that mm -hmm. room and the atmosphere, the glorious feeling of the presence of God in there and you were able to lead her to the Lord. Yes. Wow. So was, she turns around <laughs> and says to her friend or yes. comes back the next day and says, hey, my friend wants to experience, mm -hmm. this, experience this as well. Yes. And, and tell me a little bit more about his roommate. So now okay. the roommate's listening in on the second nurse coming yes. to the Lord and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What about, what about he me? Was, he was so <laughs> drawn. He, you know, he didn't want me to pull the curtain mm. because he wanted to be a part of and hear what was going on. So mm. when the second nurse, uh, well, when they both left, when after I led the second nurse to the Lord, I turned around and I looked at him and I said, Julio, do you want to know the Lord as your Savior too? And he said, yes, he said, I do. And listen, someone right now, uh, don't ever give up on a family member because God's word is faithful. If there's one in the household that is saved, the whole household shall be saved. That's what the word of God says. So believe the Lord today and stand firm on the word of God because God always will manifest his word. He's faithful. And so, you know, it was just a glorious thing when he received the Lord and, oh, it was just precious. He had tears flowing mm, down his face. Wonderful. 85 years old. 85 years old. 85, Fantastic. yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's stop and, right there. Okay. Uh, salvation, glory, that just that just hit me because yeah. I'm thinking, oh, we don't really think about that. But, mm -mm. but I, the next time uh, you're in a situation where you've got a lot of people around and you, um, you, know, you know that some of them are unsaved, maybe we could pray and ask God to, to fill that atmosphere with that salvation glory. <laughs> I <Yes>. like that. <laughs> well, we're going to be back in just a moment. We're going to talk with Diane a little bit more about some other ways that God's glory can be manifested in our lives. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Something More. I'm here with Diane Nutt. And Diane, you know, we talked about, whew, Salvation glory, yes. man, that one gets yeah. me because it's something oh, yeah. I don't don't think we, we see or talk mm -hmm. about a lot, but it's I'm going to be, be believing for that more often in my own life. But I want to talk about in this segment um, some, some ways that we can experience God's glory uh, with our own physical senses, things that, that we, we know it's His glory, and we actually experience them mm -hmm. uh, with our senses, like the sense of smell. You talk mm -hmm. about sometimes the glory being very heavy in you. Um, it, it's like an incense that you physically yes. can smell. Yes, it is. You know, when we present our bodies to Him as a living sacrifice, you know, what happens is it's there's an incense that's going up. And of course, we're not always aware of that. But mm -hmm. uh, there, it can manifest, and it did manifest one time I was ministering at a women's retreat, and I prayed for several women, and they just poured their hearts out mm -hmm. to the Lord, Donna. It mm -hmm. was so beautiful, and all of a sudden, you could see incense. You could literally see smoke going up, but you could smell this beautiful fragrance. It, it was just amazing, and of course, I asked the pastor's wife if she was aware, you know, if she could smell and see, and the other women that, you know, mm -hmm. were sitting in their chairs, and some of them could and mm -hmm. some of them couldn't. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, God will open our eyes mm. so that we can see what is our inheritance because... Should we ask Him? Is that something that we yes. should pray and we should ask um, yes. that, that God would open our eyes to absolutely. be able to experience these things? Would you do that right yes, now for those absolutely. that are at home? Yeah. Yes. Well, right now in Jesus' name, 
Father, I just thank you right now for each and every person that is watching today. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would open the eyes of their understanding. Father, illuminate their hearts that they might know the hope of their calling, which is in Christ. But Father, that they might become aware of the things of heaven that we have a legal right to, we have access to because it's our inheritance. So Father, I thank you for opening up eyes to see the supernatural, to see what is in the kingdom. And Father, I just give you the glory and honor for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Oh, something's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, anytime you feel like just taking off wow. and ministering, that is always okay with oh, us. Wow. That, is, that is just fine. I mean, something's even someone, you're seeing something right now and it looks fuzzy. That's the glory of God. But someone even smells, there's a fragrance that you smell right now. And that's the fragrance of the Lord. And so he's just opening your eyes up to see and your senses to be able to taste and see that the Lord, he is good. He's good all the time. <laughs> and, and I like Ooh, that. It's getting thick in here. You know, I like that connection that you made when you were talking biblically and you know, the, mm -hmm. the smelling of fragrances yes. and that being a sign, a manifestation of God's glory. You made yes. that connection with, you know, biblically that's connected with sacrifice. Yes. And you were in that meeting and you all were just laying it yeah. out there. You know, uh, basically sacrificing yourself or or laying it down on mm -hmm. that altar yes. for God, and and God's glory showed up in that it was sense. Beautiful. That even with your physical sense, you could experience yes. that, and then the smoke. Um, also, okay, we've talked about a uh, uh, sense of smell, sense mm -hmm. of, of sight. Yes. What about feeling? I know sometimes you you say that that you you can actually in your physical body feel things when you know God's glory is present. Yes. Yes. You can tangibly, God is a tangible God. And you know, people often they'll mm -hmm. say, well, you know, don't talk about feeling God because we walk by faith. But Jesus, he was the mediator and he was in touch with the feelings of our infirmities. And so, you know, there's feelings involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you can literally feel, you know, when I had just been with the Lord by myself uh, one night and I had been praying and just pouring my heart out, mm -hmm. what happened was I felt like I needed to lay down, just, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. lay down. And next thing I knew, I could literally feel Jesus coming into me and I could feel the scars. I don't know how to explain that, but from that point on, um, you know, emotionally and mentally, you know, God healed me. And mm -hmm. so when I pray for people, people can feel Jesus. Like when I step up, they feel something, yeah. a power step into yeah. them. So he is a tangible God. Mm -hmm. And the culture of the kingdom of God is the supernatural. That's what yes. I teach people. Yes. And because we're spirit, yes. you know, what you see right yes. here, this isn't who I am. I'm spirit. And so we have that access to the things of heaven mm -hmm. to bring them mm -hmm. to, um, you know, call them into the earth. It's our inheritance. That's where we're going to spend eternity yeah. if we know yeah. him. Yeah. But let's so, get honest. It's just me and uh -huh. me and you talking. Okay. There's nobody else listening. It's just between <laughs> us girls. Okay. Let's get honest, Diane. Sometimes we need to feel something. You know, we can't base our salvation on that. Right. We can't live by that foundation of, uh, right. you know, oh, I got to feel something. I got to feel something. But oh, sometimes yeah. I think that stirring inside and that Holy Spirit that we mm -hmm. can feel inside, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just feel like, you know, sometimes people need to feel something. Would you pray for those that are watching before we yes, go to break, uh, that, that God would stir them on the inside so tangibly Yes. That they would actually feel that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, for those who are desiring to just feel your love, to uh, mm -hmm. just connect with your spirit, Father, and to just have that tangible feeling because you are a tangible God. Father, I ask you to just touch them and let the warmth of your embrace just overcome them. Father, let your love overtake them. Father, let them feel 
your goodness yes. because you are so good. Yes. And Father, I thank you right now that there are many who are feeling that even now. Yes. And Father, I give you the glory and honor for it in Jesus' name. Ooh. Amen. Ooh, that is good stuff. Listen, <laughs> I want everybody to stay with us because when we come back, I'm going to talk with Diane Nutt about clouds, fire, and gold. So I don't want you to miss it. Welcome back everyone to Something More. And when we went to break, I told you we're gonna talk with Diane Nutt about clouds, fire, and gold. Now, Diane, some people may be saying, where do you get that? Where do you get all these, these references to these things? Are, are these biblical? They are. Everything is in the Word. If it wasn't, I would be really afraid. <laughs> but it is all in the Word of God. And we just have to be open. We have to yield our heart mm -hmm and yield our spirit, you know, our soul, our mind to the Lord, because uh, in the Word of God, it's supernatural things. You know, our mind doesn't really understand it. And so Paul taught that you cannot understand the things of the Spirit with your carnal mind. And so I've always just been real trust, you know, God's trustworthy. Mm -hmm. So I've always trusted Him. And uh, I never asked for any of these yeah. things. They yeah. just manifested. And then I found it in the Word mm -hmm. and had read it in the Word, mm -hmm. but didn't even realize it was something that we could tangibly right. encounter right. here. Right. Well, so. I know. Let's talk about clouds because that's mm -hmm. been a, a big thing with you uh, several times in your life. You've actually mm -hmm. experienced a cloud that was so thick around you that you couldn't see through it. It wasn't just hazy. It wasn't just misty, but you could not see through it. Right. And so I was just sitting as I always you know, do in my secret place. And I just want to tell someone right now, the secret place is not like in your closet or in the living room. It's your secret time with the Lord, just you and Him. And so that's really important to know because people mm -hmm. are thinking, well, I don't have a place that I can mm -hmm. go. But it's that place in our heart where we separate ourselves and commune with Him. So, so it can be any physical it, place. Uh, yes, any yes. physical place at yes. all. It's just that one-on-one -on -one with no mm -hmm. one else around. Mm -hmm. And I always say no, even worship CDs or anything like that. It's like a raw moment, mm. uh, raw yes. moments in His yes. presence. And so I was in my secret place and the glory cloud had come and it was so thick. I mean, so incredibly thick that I decided, you know, to stick my arm in. And, um, you know, just to see because I wanted to know about it. So it was that close to you that you could Oh, reach yes. It. Like, mm -hmm. like in the bed, mm -hmm. it, the glory had moved over and it stopped. And this whole side of my room, Donna, you couldn't see my chest or drawers. You could not see anything on that side of the room. But uh, when I stuck it over, it just here, it just totally disappeared. So I grabbed it you know, back and I'm looking at my hand thinking, did that really just happen? And so I did it, you know, several times. And of course, you know, the Lord, He finally revealed to me what that was about and what He was doing. Mm. But you have to remember that I have been encountering the glory of God for uh, several decades. Mm -hmm. And so when it first came into my room, you know, the ceiling fan disappeared. Right, uh, right. The ceiling disappeared. And, you know, and of course I talked to a few people about it and they're like, um, okay, you know, maybe you have an ear infection, you know, something's <laughs> off or, you know, but it was the glory cloud because I had never been taught that, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'd read about the glory cloud. I got, a, I got a thought when you were saying that, when you would put your arm in and your arm uh -huh. would disappear, I got this thought that, um, so the more you were in the glory, the less of you. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that just came to my mind. Exactly, yeah. and that's what the Lord said that, you know, the more that I'm in His glory, mm -hmm. you know, reading and praying, staying in the Word of God, that He would uh, reveal Himself, that people mm -hmm. wouldn't see me, mm -hmm. you know, but they would see Him. 
yeah. and hear yeah. Him. Yeah. Let's and talk so, about let's talk about fire. Now I know mm -hmm. uh, we, we hear a lot of references in the Word about fire. You know, tongues of fire, mm -hmm. uh, fire resting on things, God sending down fire, mm -hmm. whatever. But when you've been ministering, there's actually been people at your church or other people or other places mm -hmm. that have seen fire over your head when you were bringing the Word. Yes, yes. Um, one instance I was had stepped down off the pulpit to go and minister to everyone. Mm -hmm. And a man who had actually seen me on Sid's program. Imagine that. And <laughs> yes. And so uh, he and his wife were in town, so they came to our church. And he said, when I stepped off the uh, platform, he said, I was in a white dress. And he said, there was fire. Now, this is what he was seeing uh -huh. for you. This is mm -hmm. what he was seeing. Mm -hmm. And there was fire above my head, he said, as I, w I prophesied over every person in the service that day from the front to the back. Oh, and he Lord. said, there was fire. He said, you were in this beautiful, beautiful white dress and blah, blah, and you had a sword in your hand. But the fire, he said, it was just, you know, and my husband has seen fire uh, mm -hmm. before as well. Mm -hmm. But people see that right. sometimes, you know, the fire or people see fire in my eyes. Mm. Because spiritually, you were ready for battle. Yes. You were ready to go. Absolutely. You were going after was it. going out there. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Quickly, we've only got exactly. a minute or so okay. left. So quickly, what about what about gold? I've heard a lot of people talk about gold um, okay. at referring to the glory. Just quickly tell me about okay. it. Okay. Well, the, uh, the gold dust, as we call it, the gold dust, the glory, showed up in gold dust one day when the Lord took me up into the Spirit, and I was standing next to him and I saw this city and this city was just, um, it was all gold. It was mm. the most, mm. <sighs> sorry, it was a beautiful, beautiful like gold color. And um, so I was with a few other people and someone said something and it took me right out of the spirit. They said, Diane, what's on you? And I had gold dust all over me. Mm. And of course, you know, that's scriptural too. It is. In, it in is. the book of Job, when sure. you read about, you yeah. know, the gold dust. And so I'm going to stop you right there only because I have to. And I'm going to say, while we are in this moment, Diane, I would love for you just to look into the camera and speak to those that are watching. Um, that however God wants to manifest His glory in, in their lives, yes. that that would happen for them. Yes. Would you pray for them real quick before Absolutely. we leave? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Father, I just pray right now for everyone who is watching. And Father, they just have a desire to be closer to You and, and to see the things of heaven. Father, I just thank You for touching them right now, most of all with Your love. Father, thank You for Your amazing love. And Father, thank you for just the different manifestations. I just release right now to the viewers, I release to them right now your perfect will. And Father, I release to them the things of the kingdom yes. of God, the yes. things of heaven to manifest on their behalf. And Father, I just give you all the glory and honor yes, for it. Lord. And Father, I thank you that it'll change their lives forever. Hallelujah. And it's for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. Please join us again next time for something more. Call now to get Diane Nutt's brand new book, Encountering the Glory of God, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Keys to Your Glory Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9610. I just wanna share with you that God has revealed His glory in my life in so many different ways. And sometimes it's in a visible and tangible manifestation that not only I can see, but others can see it too. God has given me keys to help you experience your own glory encounters. Through Diane's brand new powerful book, Encountering the Glory of God, you will be taken on a journey of Diane's life as she shares powerful true stories that will encourage and enable you to see how God wants to reveal His glory to you. Several people that have read the book, as they pick it up and they begin to read, the presence of God comes and they've just been invaded with the glory of God. In Diane's exclusive and anointed 
anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Keys to Your Glory Encounters. Diane will mentor you to start having your own glory encounters. Each of these three audio CDs are packed full of powerful teaching, scriptures, and spontaneous anointed prayers for you. The presence of God was so strong, I could visibly see the glory cloud in the room. Through this series, you will understand what the secret place of God is and how to access it. Find out how to break down the walls that separate you from receiving your blessing through the supernatural power of forgiveness. Discover the keys to invite glory encounters into your everyday life. Learn how to live in God's glory power through practicing forgiveness, accessing the secret place of the Most High God, giving God total control, learning to listen for the voice of God, meditating on God's written word, repentance, operating in God's love. It's time for you to stop hearing about the glory and start having your own glory of God encounters. Don't miss out on getting Diane Nutt's brand new book, Encountering the Glory of God, and her anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Keys to Your Glory Encounters. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9610. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9610 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today.